twinkle, twinkle, little star, come and play a game with me. Summon a spirit or summon a ghost. It may follow you back home. Welcome to Cravel Presents Submit Fetishions. And today we're going to talk about the hair raising game that Vietnamese kids love to play. For that, guys, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down below and give me a like. I'm not gaining any subscriber, but if you really like this channel, if you really like this topic, go ahead and subscribe it. Vietnam is a country with rich culture and history. A supernatural belief is no exception. Their supernatural interest doesn't just limit it to adults. The younger generations is greatly affected as well. Like Bloody Mary, the scary ritual game that's famous across Western country, Vietnam, has its fair share of supernatural game as well. And today, we are going to dive into it and know more about this. The first hair-raising game that Vietnamese kids love to play is the cursed pole bearing ritual game, King Sak. Pole bearing is an honor act of carrying a casket at a funeral and it happened in several countries. But in Vietnam, kids is playing this as a game during their free times. Legend has it that this traditional game has the power to summon ghosts. So basically, the instruction and also the rules of the game is quite easy. It is one person lies down in the middle while seven person form a circle and use their finger under their head, shoulder, hips and ankle. By covering the person's face and the rest of the group chanting, Paul bearing, Paul bearing, Paul bearing, declaring themselves as Paul bearer to leave a person into the air with just one finger. If the spirits are present, they are believed to lend a helping hand, aiding in lifting the person even higher. There is even one video of uh, several high school or teenagers playing this game at school. This game is said to have originated in Me Mekong Delta region of Vietnam. According to local belief, the ghosts are attracted by the rhythmic chanting and the motions of the blanket. When they respond to the call, it joins in the ritual by assisting in the lifting. Guys, if you're really considering playing this game, first, do not choose haunted place to play this game. Second, show respect. Whether you're atheist, whether you don't believe this kind of things, show respect at least. Third one, stop if you feel uncomfortable or unwell. But guys, personally, I do not recommend you to play this game. Because um, some folks actually believe that if the uh, spirit is not properly appeased, they'll follow you back home and refuse to leave. And they even cause misfortune of stepping your life force away. And some of them, if let's say um, they have resentment towards you, they even will harm or kill you. Another game that Vietnamese kids are playing is Vietnamese VG board. Gao ge. The word Gao Ge, translated to English, actually is called calling the soul. It was um, believed that uh, it influenced by the musculoskeletal method from China and also the VG board from US. But the matter of fact is, not only Vietnam is popular with this game, but around the world, people are playing. The Gao Ge board actually is sourced from the wood pieces from an old coffin, cut into a circular design imprinted with 29 letters of Vietnamese alphabets, along with the diacriticals, marks, and a number from 0 to 9. It's something similar to um, the common VG board, except for the Vietnamese alphabet. In Vietnam, children would normally gather around the graveyard or darkly lit room to play Gao Ge. First, they lay out three burning incense as offering to show respects. Then place a coin with a hollow center in the middle of the board, which each player play, place a finger on it. The how to play is almost similar to VG board. Then they read aloud the below poem to start the game.
So the poem basically is chanting and also requesting the soul to come. I'm not going to read that out loud, so neither are you. Then the coin was started to move itself, as if someone had a right to play with you. There are even some students who were caught asking someone to cheat during the exams. I will never ask disrespectful questions or any questions that might offend the spirits, uh, as it might similar to the previous game, Kinsek. The spirit refused to leave and possibly harm you. So the next game that Vietnamese kids are playing right now is called Malond, translated as the ghost cant. Unlike the two previous games, King Set and also Kalka, this game, Malone, is really invited, inviting the ghost to play with you. If it says that you summon the spirit of the ghost and trap inside the can, then you play chase with it. <laughs> to play this game, Malone, you require some items along with you to start the games. First, you require an uh, empty can, incense, and also a secret. The participants first light the incense and place it in the can. Then, they light the cigarette and take a drag. If the cigarette burns unevenly, that's a sign that the spirit has been summoned. The participants then close the can and place it on the ground, indicating that the spirit was trapped in the can right now. Then, incense should be lit and act as a timer for the game, with its burning representing the durations of the ghost's presence. During the game, the ghost uh, will pursue the players in aiming to hit their ankles. The player must run swiftly to evade the ghost, but there's one crucial rule in this game. Players must run in straight line. Taking a turn abruptly ends the presence of the spirits. It is believed that the spirit in the afterlife often very eager to join a game after being summoned by the living peers. And that's the end of the hair-raising game that played by the Vietnamese kids nowadays. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate that. And um, guys, please do me a favor. Just hit the subscribe button yeah! down below and give me a like if you like this video. And you know what? Uh, I'm going to continue my submit video next week again. I'm going to see you next week. I hope all of you have a great week ahead. Bye-bye.